It's a top state vacation spot with a big problem. Drought across New Mexico has left water levels at Elephant Butte Lake lower than ever. So on a big Memorial Day weekend, did people turn out? News 13's Alex Goldsmith has that story. Crystal Elephant Butte businesses gave us mixed answers to just that question. They're trying to get the word out that when it comes to the lake, low doesn't mean empty. We get calls every day, people saying, is there any water in the lake? It's pretty clear from the boats, the swimmers, and the RVs on the shore that yes, there is water in Elephant Butte Lake. But marina owner Neil Brown says it's not clear everyone knows that. How do you tell people there are miles and miles of lake, uh, 14 miles further than you'd want to walk, of water? There's no question though, water levels are low. From the air and on the ground, you can see rings around where the water used to be. Federal estimates put the lake at 11% full, the lowest ever. Business owners disagree as to whether that took its toll Memorial Day weekend. It may have been just a little bit slow, but there were still a lot of people that came in. This weekend's been really busy, much busier than last year. Busy or not, people that did come out seemed to do just fine. Some were even surprised, like this visitor from Wisconsin. I, I wouldn't have guessed it until we did some research, but uh, it certainly lived up to the expectations. Businesses that live off the lake hope that message carries. The message is when the lake is low, there's still a lot of water. Last year, about 87,000 people came to Elephant Butte State Park during Memorial Day weekend. We tried to get numbers from the state for how many uh, visitors went to the Butte for this Memorial Day weekend, but those numbers weren't available yet. Back to you, Crystal. All right, thanks, Alex. Now, right now, the low water levels have not restricted any water activities at the Butte, although campfires do have to be set within 100 feet of the lake. New Mexico